Brought to you by wikivd.com Chelsea Pensioner A Chelsea Pensioner, or in Pensioner, is a resident at the Royal Hospital Chelsea, a retirement home and nursing home for former members of the British Army located in Chelsea, London. The Royal Hospital Chelsea is home to some 300 retired British soldiers, male and female, and is located on Royal Hospital Road. Historically, the phrase, Chelsea pensioner, applied more widely, referring to both in-pensioners and out-pensioners who live elsewhere. In and out-pensioners The Royal Hospital was founded by King Charles II in 1682 as a retreat for veterans. The provision of a hostel rather than the payment of pensions was inspired by Les Invalides in Paris. During the reign of King William III and Queen Mary II, the Royal Hospital was still under construction so they introduced a system for distribution of army pensions in 1689. The pension was to be made available to all former soldiers who had been injured in service or who had served for more than 20 years. By the time the Royal Hospital was completed, there were more pensioners than places available in the Royal Hospital. Eligible ex-soldiers who could not be housed in the hospital were termed out pensioners, receiving their pension from the Royal Hospital, but living outside it. In pensioners, by contrast, surrender their army pension and live within the Royal Hospital. In 1703 there were 51 out pensioners. By 1815 this figure had risen to 36,757. The Royal Hospital remained responsible for distributing army pensions until 1955, following which the phrase, out pensioner, became less common, and, Chelsea pensioner, was used largely to refer to, in pensioners. Life of in pensioners Applicants for the Royal Hospital Chelsea are invited for a four-day stay, during which they get a taste of what life is like for a Chelsea pensioner. If they enjoy their stay and it is felt that they will fit in they are invited to become a Chelsea pensioner. Upon arrival at the Royal Hospital, each in pensioner is measured up for their blues and scarlets. They are given their own room, or berth, in a ward, and are allocated to a company. Up until refurbishment works carried out in the 1950s, these rooms measured 6 by 6 feet. Work completed in 2015 has ensured that all in pensioner berths include en suite facilities, a writing desk, and natural light. On entry, in pensioners surrender their army pension, in return receiving board, lodging, clothing and full medical care. In pensioners also have their own club with a bar, lounges and restaurant and there are allotments. For those who enjoy gardening, if an in pensioner becomes unwell they are moved into the infirmary which is a state-of-the-art care home with nursing and a GP medical center. The Royal Hospital Burial Ground is at Brookwood Cemetery in Surrey. Admission of Women Until 2009, only male candidates were admitted. It was announced in 2007 that female ex-service personnel would be admitted on the completion of modernization of the long wards. In March 2009 the first women in the hospital's 317-year history were admitted as in-pensioners, Dorothy Hughes and Winifred Phillips. Winifred Phillips trained as a nurse, and joined the Auxiliary Territorial Service in 1948, and enlisted in the Women's Royal Army Corps in 1949 while serving in Egypt. For the next 22 years she served in Singapore, Cyprus, and Egypt reaching the rank of Warrant Officer Class II. She wrote two books about becoming one of the first female Chelsea pensioners, My Journey, to becoming the first lady Chelsea pensioner, and Mum's Army, Love and Adventure from the Nafi to Civvy Street. She never married. Dorothy Hughes joined the British Army in 1941, later working as part of 450 Heavy Anti-Aircraft Battery in the London Division. In 1945 the battery was deployed near Dover to defend against V-1 flying bomb attacks. She later worked with the Army Operational Research Group developing fuses in shells used against V-2 rockets, and was discharged from the Army in 1946 with the rank of sergeant. The records at Royal Hospital show that another woman, a Mrs. Christian Davies, was admitted 
to Chelsea Hospital circa 1717, and was awarded a pension for her service in the army, and the wounds she received in the service of the king. She died in 1739, and was buried in the Royal Hospital Chelsea with full military honours. Clothing Chelsea pensioners are entitled to come and go from the Royal Hospital as they please, and are permitted to wear civilian clothing wherever they travel. However, within the hospital, and in the surrounding area, they are encouraged to wear a blue uniform. If they travel further, from the Royal Hospital, they should wear the distinctive scarlet coats instead of the blue uniform. The scarlet coats are also worn for ceremonial occasions, accompanied by tricorn hats. In uniform, the pensioners wear their medal ribbons, and the insignia of the rank they reached while serving in the armed forces. They may also wear other insignia they earn during their service, and many pensioners now wear parachute jump wings and even shash jump wings. Men in Scarlet Album Seven Chelsea pensioners at the Royal Hospital Chelsea released an album on 8 November 2010 in order to raise money for the Chelsea Pensioners Appeal, featuring Dame Vera Lynn, Catherine Jenkins, The Soldiers, and Jamie Cutler. The album is full of well-known wartime songs and includes their traditional march, The Old Brigade. Chelsea Football Club Nearby Chelsea Football Club has been affiliated with the Chelsea Pensioners for many years. The club's first nickname was the Pensioners, and until the 1950s the club crest featured a Chelsea Pensioner. Residents of the hospital can be seen attending Chelsea's home games at Stamford Bridge. When Chelsea won the Premier League title in 2005, Chelsea Pensioners formed a guard of honour as the players and management came out for the trophy presentation. This was done again when Chelsea won the title in 2010. In tribute to the trademark scarlet coats worn by the pensioners, Chelsea's kit for the 2010-11 season featured a red trim on the collars. Thank you for watching, brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.